Hi everyone, welcome back to Gohm's Tech Talks channel. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see how to access the Business Central free trial. So when you try to access Business Central free trial, so this is the uh, link where you can access the Business Central for free. Okay, so here you can see you have uh, try for free. Okay, this is the option which you can see here. So once if you click here, okay and if you try to give your personal id so what is it personal id it will end with either uh, at the rate gmail.com or at the late outlook.com something like this. this is the personal mail id okay but business central will allow you only to access through the school or work email address okay so if you don't have a school or work email address so what you should do you have to create it how to create it for that you should have outlook mail id <laughs> okay so what is that outlook mail id your outlook mail id should ends with uh, at the rate outlook.com so with that outlook mail id we'll be creating and uh, uh, that is we'll be creating a, a mail id with on microsoft.com okay on microsoft.com okay so that is what here we can create it through this for this you have you need a outlook id if you don't have an outlook id please go and create it first so before we proceed further i would like to tell you that this is my um youtube channel where you can subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe it first and you can join as a member in order to access the exclusive perks like pdf books uh, ppts and you can directly send me a mail if you have any queries and you can discuss with me so in my channel this is available for everyone okay that is functional consultant business central and here you can see business central interview questions uh, and and into uh, business central mini project is there and you can also see the complete business central technical consultant that is business central tutorial for developers okay you can see it here so if you want to uh, connect with me and if you want to get the immediate reply perks exclusive access and everything please consider joining as a member so let us just proceed further so if you wanted to get the on microsoft.com then you have to join here okay just click join now it will ask you to uh, log in with your mail id and the password okay so you have to connect with your mail id okay so it should be a outlook mail id okay so you have to use your outlook mail id if you don't have one then you can create here okay you can create it here and you can get an access to that so once if you click this it will connect you to that you have to create enter the password okay so it will allow you to log in with your password so you can see here that it will uh, it will make you to sign in okay and then you have to create a outlook mail id okay so this is my outlook mail id so you have to create it so while selecting the country or region please very clear that you are selecting a us or uh, that is uh, us or some other region okay so i'm just going to select us and uh, company you can just give any company name okay and what is the language which you prefer and you can just select this i accept and everything so it will take you to the next one okay and it is the so i'm just selecting the personal projects and what are the things which you wanted okay just select everything okay and yes you can also access it for power platform okay got it so just click save so it will your uh, dashboard will be created now okay then this is the next step you have to go with an instant sandbox setup okay so just to select instant sandbox and then click next and here you can select north america united states or uh, uh, europe or something so here you can select this okay and what is the admin username you can give like gom stack talks and admin password it should be it should be 14 15 to 25 characters okay and it should be a combination of um, uh, asterisk and everything just proceed continue and then you can just go ahead with the number okay and you can choose the number you have to enter the number in order to gain access to this okay 
okay the, and then you have to click send code where you will be uh, forwarded with a code okay you have to enter that code in order to access this first you have to create a developer uh, thing where you will be getting a, a mail id with on microsoft.com okay so that mail id we can use it here in order to create a dynamics 365 business central free trial account So you have to wait at least for um, at least for uh, three minutes to receive the mail ID. Okay, so to receive the uh, code that is a Microsoft code here. Okay, and click setup where it will take you to the next process. Okay, it will show you. So once it is done, right, you can see here that you can see the go to the subscription and you can see that your domain name is s7dpy.microsoft.com. So once if you just go here and give your password, okay, you can see that this is your mail ID. Just copy the mail ID and paste it here so that it will be easy for you to access for the next time. Okay, I'm just signing in right now and if you click ask later, so it will just uh, take you to uh, take you to the login. So your login is created now. Now let us go back here and enter the email address here and if you click next. Okay. Okay, just to sign in, click sign in. Yes, now you got it. So you, can, you have to create an email uh, that is you have to select the country or region. Uh, so just click get started. And now it will take you to the next page. Okay, that is confirmation details. So this is the Microsoft uh, trial account we are creating. So it is taking you to the next okay so if you want to create any other uh, that, that means like you can create uh, five usernames okay with other mail id like this okay at this is what the domain if you wanted to create you can create it now or else you can skip and proceed with the microsoft dynamics 365 just click get started so remember your mail id and the password okay that is very very important because that mail id is created based on your uh, subscription which you have added here okay now you can see that it is logging in the business central okay let us wait for that and you can just skip the survey ready yes now your uh, your um, business central is set it up so now if you go and right click okay and you can see here that your account is there and if you wanted to access the uh, information which you want to give it for launch.json okay so that is a very very important right so in launch.json you have to give some information so if you want to use that you have to go to the admin center because this is this here you are the admin okay so if you go to the admin center you will be getting all the informations related to that okay okay just try to log in where it will take you to the admin center okay so what happens is what there you can get the all the details whatever i have discussed in my previous mail uh, previous video so you can find all the videos in my uh, business central tutorial okay you can see how to launch how to use the launch.json file what are the details which you have to give everything which i have discussed here okay so you can go and watch it so all these details you can find it here okay whenever you create it business central will be created with the production mail id okay and you can just click here to see other informations like this is what okay what is the country or the region okay what is the type and you can uh, say like what are the okay you can check all these information here like how to uh, use further fine so here you can see the version what is the version here and what is the uh, country region what is the azure region and everything so with this you can use the environment okay so this is what your link this is how you can access your um, uh, you are access your business central so you can just copy this link and use it here okay where if you want to just go and check it you can so by default the environment name will be production okay so if you want to create a new environment you can create it and the type will be production so whenever you use your launch.json so this is what your environment type which is production you have to go ahead with that and environment name is also production okay and this is what the server name as well okay so by default it will be using an aad so make use 
of AAD itself. So no worry about it. So if you wanted to create a environment, so here you have, okay, just click new, where it will take you to create a new environment. Okay. If you create a new, it will open a pop up to create a new environment for you. You can use these details in your um, VS code. Okay, that is launch.json and try to execute it. So you can give the environment name, for example, if you want to go with BC test, okay, this is what your environment name and you can just go ahead with a sandbox. Okay, so this is what your type and you can select the country here. Uh, so you can go ahead with US. Okay, and version. So you have two versions, right? You can select the versions here. So I'm just going to go with the preview version and click, click create. So your environment will be created here. And if you are using your, uh, if you're going to try with your, um, uh, uh, like you have to, you're going to develop and some develop and try. So you can select here and click create. Okay, it will be created. Just create, click create it. Okay. So just click create. If it is a preview mode, it will be only for the testing and you can use it. Okay. So just try this and let me know if you're facing any issues. This is a way where you can try it. Okay. So you have access for 90 days. So make use of it very efficiently and do not try to, um, uh, do not try to Okay, so that's all for today. If you have any queries, please ask me, please leave your comment. And uh, if you have uh, any other, if you need any other tutorial, just go ahead uh, and watch it here. Okay, you can see everything right from the beginning towards how to set up the environment, how to get started with Dynamics 365, everything you can just find it here. Yes, thank you for watching this. Take care. Bye-bye.